Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for being a valued customer of Miracle Box. If you have purchased the Miracle Box, then you are part of the Miracle Box family, and we're going to show you how to properly set up your Miracle Box. So, this video is about how to get started with your Miracle Box. Now, if you notice here, we have taken all of the contents out of the Miracle Box here and put them on the table, and we want to make sure that you have all of your pieces. If for any reason you're missing a piece, please email us at MiracleBoxHelp.com and we can make sure that you get the missing pieces, but all of your boxes should have at least six pieces in them and we inspect them to make sure they do. So let's start with the first piece. Now the first piece is the actual Miracle Box. And if you notice here, on the back, you're going to have all of your ports here. You're going to have your HDMI port if you want to plug in HDMI. You're going to have the port for your Ethernet cord. If you want to do an AV or video cable, you have that. You can also do an optical cable for high definition sound. And this is where the power plug would go. So this is all the components you're going to have. And you even have an extra uh, port back here. And if you look to the side of the Miracle Box, you have an SD card slot and you have two USB ports. So that is kind of important here. And in the front of the Miracle Box, as you notice, here is your on off button and you have a piece for a clock and again this is if you notice this is actually the miracle box brand and this is a miracle box as you see here mb 3.0 and again this video is for that now if you notice here the miracle box does have an ac wi-fi which means you'll have the most powerful wi-fi device you can get your hands on and so this is why it comes with a separate antenna and you can screw this antenna on and when we get to the tv to set it up we're going to show you how to do that. Now second, well, the third thing you need to have is make sure you have your power supply. You should have a power cord in your box and this is going to plug into the back of your Miracle Box. And I know this might sound redundant, but we want to make sure everyone kind of knows. So the power plug goes in here. And then you're going to also have a set of HDMI cables. Now if you have an HDMI TV, you can uh, have this cable plugged into any port that you want. Just remember the port that you have it plugged into. And um, this way you'll know which port your Miracle Box is on. And we also have the Miracle Box remote. I'm going to take this out of the plastic. And this remote is pretty cool. It comes with the Miracle Box. And notice the shiny, glossy feel. Um, this remote is really high quality. So you have a lot of your quick buttons here. We're going to go through how to use those really quickly once we get in the setup. And last but not least, you have your user guide. The user guide comes in here, and if you don't understand, if, well, if you wouldn't be here if you didn't understand the user guide. And again, our website is right here for help. You can fill out a support ticket. And again, your box has a two-year warranty, and you do have unlimited support for life. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing set up on a TV right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to hook this up to the TV. And first of all, if you're going to go in with an Ethernet connection, means you're going to plug straight in, then you won't need to plug in this antenna. But if you're going to do Wi-Fi, you're going to need this antenna to activate the AC Wi-Fi so you can get that powerful energy boost to your Wi-Fi, or should I say speed boost. So first thing you want to do is we're going to plug this thing, or I'm sorry, screw it in. So we're going to give you a little close-up here. It just screws in like so. And you just screw it, not too tight, but you know, until it doesn't screw anymore. And then you'll see this part is really adjustable. You can fan it this way, fan it that way. So definitely keep this if you have a Wi-Fi signal. Sorry, we got that screwed in. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to plug in our HDMI cable. Now, if you have a video cable, you can plug that in, but I chose to go HDMI because this is a box that's made for 4K gold and 3D TV and especially 1080p so it's always better to plug an HDMI cord in if you have an HDMI TV so we're gonna take the HDMI cord right here and we're just gonna plug it right into the slot right here make sure it's in good and that is in pretty stern now the next thing we're gonna do or the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the power supply so that power supply gets plugged in right here where it says the DC 5V so you plug it in right here and if you've done everything correctly your box should have a red light signifying that you do have power to the unit 
So we're going to set the unit down here. And it's preferably better to put your unit in front of a TV. If you have like maybe like a little TV cave or something, don't put it behind the TV because it's going to interrupt the reception. You want to have this thing it's in an open area. You want to have it in an area to where you're closest to Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi is far away, please evaluate how far your Wi-Fi is and make the necessary adjustments. But this should be relatively close to your Wi-Fi. And it will pick up the Wi-Fi directly as long as it's in the general vicinity. Just make sure you're not on a fifth floor and your Wi-Fi is on the first floor. That's going to be a little bit difficult. So make sure you properly evaluate where your connection is going to be. If you're going to plug in, then that's obviously easy. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to turn this thing on using the remote. And I have the remote right here. And to turn it on, you want to press this big red button. And when you turn it on, how you know it's being turned on is it's going to turn blue. You see how it turned blue? So that means it's on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on the inside of this box and now that it's on, and we're going to show you the rest of the setup. As a very important side note, you already have this remote that comes with the box. Now you're going to see me move through the setup relatively fast. Why? Because I have the keyboard remote. It's going to allow me to type a whole lot faster. So either getting the uh, wireless keyboard remote or getting the speed keyboard remote is going to really, really help you in your searches. And you're going to get sick of trying to move through the virtual keyboard with this thing so definitely get these two accessories to go with it if you don't want to have the headache of trying to move from square to square selecting letters rather than just typing on this thing it's going to save you a lot of time and effort so again i told most people you know when you get the miracle box definitely pick up one of these because after a while of moving from square to square it can get a bit um, tedious so this will definitely help you with your searches a whole lot quicker just a quick note and we're going to go inside the miracle box now and you're going to see me move really fast with my typing because I have these keyboard remotes All right, ladies and gentlemen, once you turn on your box, you're going to come to a welcome screen. Now, some of you may have to wait for your box to optimize itself, and some of them may do that, and that's a great thing. That means it's optimizing the apps um, once you turn it on, and you may have gotten some updated firmware, which is great. But if it doesn't do it, then that means your firmware is already upgraded. So your boot, may, your boot screen may take a little longer before you get here. Just leave it on, and it will eventually come to the screen to allow you to get to the welcome screen. So now that we're here, you wanna grab your remote that comes with the box or grab your speed keyboard remote or your wireless keyboard that you may have purchased as an accessory. If you didn't, doing this video, you're probably gonna wish you did because it's gonna make typing so much easier for you. So we're gonna hit okay and go next. And if you are happy with English as your primary language on the box, you can leave this there. And all you have to do is hit okay again and it'll take you to the next step. And right here, it's going to allow you to set the screen size for your TV. So if your TV is a 45 inch or a 40 inch and you're smaller than a 55, you want to adjust this so that all of your black is covered or where it kind of fits. So for instance, I have a 65 inch, so you may have a 40, but you just kind of want to adjust it. So what I'm going to do is, as you see the black here, I'm going to adjust this to fit my screen. Almost there. And so mine would be at 100%. If you have a 65, 70, or 55, yours may be at 100% as well. And uh, you just want to have more real estate for your TV. All you have to do from now, once you have a selection that you made and you're happy with it, just click Next. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on this one, you have to decide how to connect. If you're going to connect with a Ethernet cord, meaning plugging it into the back of the Miracle Box, then you don't have to do anything here but select Finish. And it will allow you to connect via Ethernet cord and you'll know you're connected because it'll send you an IP address and you know everything is fine. Now if you don't have an Ethernet and you want to connect Wi-Fi, that's perfectly fine. You want to take advantage of the AC Wi-Fi and use some of that Wi-Fi power, then what you would do here is you would go through Ethernet and we're going to actually connect Wi-Fi. So select Wi-Fi. It's going to bring up all your Wi-Fi networks around 
And what you want to do is wait until it gives you a bunch of choices. And in this example, you want to select your Wi-Fi. Don't select a Wi-Fi that you're not familiar with. Don't select the neighbors because you may have to put in a password. And for this, you do have to know your Wi-Fi password. And remember, you can either connect either to a home Wi-Fi or internet connection, or if you have a mobile hotspot, remember this has a dual band Wi-Fi, you can connect to a mobile phone or a hotspot device and still stream your movies just fine. So in this example, we're gonna select our connection here and we're gonna press okay. And it's gonna ask us for a password. Now, if you don't have the keyboard remote, you're gonna to have to sit here and select all of these letters, but we do have a keyboard remote, so we're gonna show you the difference in speed. We're gonna type our password in really quick. Now that was quick, so that's why we recommend getting a wireless keyboard or the keyboard remote. So we're gonna hit connect now once we're done. And notice that the IP address populated. You don't wanna to move to the next screen until you see an IP address populate. That's how you know you're connected. If you move without confirming the IP address being populated, then you're not gonna be fully connected and you may have problems. So wait until the IP address populates before you move on. In this example, it populated, so we can just go down and finish by clicking right on the arrows on your uh, remote and hit OK. And once you do that, you're going to arrive at the Android interface. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most user-friendly interface on the entire planet as when it comes to streaming media. So you are in such luck to be a Miraclebox customer. This is gonna be very easy for you to navigate. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to download the Miraclebox build onto your Miraclebox 3.0. What the build is, the build is a customized media center that we've created that will allow you to access your content. So what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down from the home position and you wanna make your way all the way to update Miracle in the far right corner. So we're gonna do that. As you highlight the boxes, they get bigger so you know what you're highlighting. And we're gonna land on update Miracle. So this will allow you to download the Miracle build onto your unit. So you're gonna hit okay. And what you're witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, is something that a lot of units don't have. This is an over the air updater, meaning that we do all the work all you have to do is press a button and you get all the fixes, all the corrections, all the new apps. So this will be what you use to initially download and you'll be using this a lot in order to get updates that we push out. So from this screen right here, you wanna highlight the installed Miracle build. And what you wanna do is hit okay. And depending on the speed of your internet, this could take anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes and you just have to be patient and let it do it do what it does and download because this file size is about four gigs. So it's gonna load four gigs of a media center onto your Miracle Box. And you can grab a cup of coffee, you can call a friend for a very short conversation, but this process will take anywhere from five to ten or maybe even fifteen minutes. But for the purposes of this demo, we're gonna use our video skills and we're gonna fast forward. So we're gonna fast forward this and we're gonna show you what it looks like once it downloads and so you can move to the next step without having to wait in real time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, when you see the message that says Cody Data Successor Restored, then this is success for you. So you can actually just hit okay and you'll know that your media center has downloaded. So we're gonna hit okay. And you can either hit the return button or the home button. I'm gonna hit the home button and it's gonna take us back to the screen that we left off on. So now you have the Miracle Build downloaded onto your box and all we have to do is open our media center. So as the bill says, open media center would be our selection. Everything is pretty user friendly here. So we're gonna click okay, highlight it, and we're gonna let everything load up. And this is very important that you be patient right here and you're not rushing anything. I would, if I were you, I would put the remote down and not touch anything until everything loads. And you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, so what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see everything 
load up. These are going to be um, some of the subscription channels that we have available. And what you want to do is you want to give it two to three minutes to propagate everything. You don't want to touch anything. You, want, you don't want to bother anything. You just simply want to let everything load. And you want to wait for an auto cleaner box to pop up. Now, you're going to see this auto cleaner box every time you go inside this build. And don't do anything until it auto cleans. What it does, it will clean any type of residual cash that you may have left over from your streaming, but you want to make sure you wait. So let it do all of this stuff first. You want to let all this stuff load. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to interrupt it because it's now loading everything and propagating everything from the download that you just did. So just be patient here and kind of just chill out. Don't really touch anything. And um, you'll know kind of when. Like I said, give it two to three minutes. So there's the auto cleaner here. And... As you see, it loaded, and once it does that, you know, of course, you'll notice that when you get to here, you'll see that we have a banner that runs across the bottom. This is how we're going to relay messages to you. This is how we're going to let you know if uh, if it's time to update or whatever whatever new things we have out. We're going to let you know about it through that little banner that you saw at the bottom. Now, from here, this pretty much is a conclusion of how to get started. Uh, you can scroll to the left or to the right to go into any category we have music we have the power button which you can turn off your media center we have the settings we have free TV we have the TV shows on demand as you see the apps are down here below we have movies I'm sorry we have sports right here and uh, we have adult content we also have movies and you see we have uh, 4k golden 3d movies and below this you're gonna see these little tiles here these are just qu quick little tiles that will allow you to go inside and check everything out and um, these up here are just like new releases for TV shows, more TV shows. Uh, Pyramid is a great app. You have box sets. And in the next video, we're going to go into more detail on how to navigate uh, through all of this. And at the bottom, you have all the premium options. So if you purchase a premium subscription, you would access your premium subscription right here at the bottom tab. So very, very user friendly. We've, took, we've taken away everything that could not make this easy. And we try to make this as easy as possible, make sure everything is working. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you pretty much get set up. And from here, you can browse around. But we will be making more videos to go over how to use each one of these apps to your benefit to search content. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in the next video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you again.